Hi Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be your weekly guidance message for January 15th through the 21st. This is a general reading and will not resonate with every single Scorpio. Uh, this is not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Scorpio propensities in your chart, there may be messages for you. If not, feel free to check other sign propensities in your chart. Any information you need is in the description box. And if you have not done so already, please do subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Let's jump right in, Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? January 15th through the 21st. Also going to pull a Wisdom Animal Oracle card for you. Whoa. At the bottom of the deck. At the end of the reading. As well as a Work Your Light Oracle. These just spot out. So I'm just going to take them until we have enough. And it's looking really good. Okay, let's see what the extras are. Got a lot. Way too many. All right, bottom of the deck, we have the Judgment card, Major Arcana Scorpio. Could be dealing with a past situation here. Having a past situation resurface. You could be the past situation that's resurfacing for somebody. Right, but someone is calling judgment here. Something that um, you thought might have ended, or think has ended, may not necessarily be have ended, or it's coming back up for reevaluation. Okay, keep an eye out for that. First card out: Knight of Swords. Could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. But the Knight of Swords is an energy of impulsive, fast, determined movement. Usually, I usually more denote this card to speed. Like, you see how he's whipping. The trees are blowing, like the wind. Like, he's doing kilometers. You know what I mean? So, someone is coming towards you extremely fast. Or this is you rushing towards someone. Like, almost like, oh my god, I'm gonna be late. Like, no. Like, you know what I mean? So, this is either your energy this week or someone that's in your environment this week that is rushing towards you. Rushing towards you to either have a conversation or to express some type of um, truth or communication because the sword is to thoughts and communication as well. Someone is bringing some sort of clarity to you or some sort of clarity is coming into you quite quick this week, Scorpio. Next card out, we have the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is an energy of complete and utter emotional fulfillment, long-term happiness, abundance, joy, babies, happy, Mommy's happy, daddy's happy. Where this is like a musical. Every time I see this card, it reminds me of a musical. Like, um, you know which one? Leave it in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about. What's the one? I can't remember the name. Leave it in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about. Which musical I'm talking about? But this is just this is just happy. Right? So some of you some some of you could be rushing towards that or wanting to rush towards that or having an idea of how you're going to achieve that. Next card out, we have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups could be definitely you. Okay, feeling sort of feminine in energy, not necessarily female or male. Could be also dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, another Cap, or another Scorpio as well. But this is someone that is ready to love, someone that has a cup, they're ready to love, and they're ready to give it to somebody. Okay, very open emotionally, ready to love emotionally evaluating who they're going to give that cup to because they are ready so whether this is you or someone in your environment maybe you there's someone that you've been talking to recently that you're realizing this could be it or someone is thinking this about you this could be it i'm i think i might be ready i think i might be ready because this is 11 cups that's a lot of cups that's a lot of happiness and love right or some of you could be putting an end to something and coming into something new, definitely. No, but this, I definitely feel this is something new. The 10 does speak to, to endings, but this is not. This is, this is somebody that is feeling in their emotions and is ready to move towards some type of energy that they feel they could have the potential to have this 10 of cups with. Someone is very sure, very, very decisive. Look, he's like 
trying to join in on the musical, right? Next card out, you have the Queen of Wands. Could be dealing with Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but the Queen of Wands is the catch of all catches. She is <clears throat> the creme de la creme of women or men. Doesn't matter. It's just energy we're talking about here. This person is passionate. This person is attractive. This person is charismatic. They are magnetic. Someone could definitely be looking at you this way. It could be, could be both female or this is someone just in their feminine energy, which is very emotional, very open. This could be a man and a woman, but the man is also in his feminine energy, right? Which is open and receptive to love and emotion. Someone could definitely be in love with you, seeing you as the end-all be-all, wanting to move quickly towards, you know, locking it down. Because this is coming underneath the Knight of Swords, so someone is definitely speeding it. Someone has the clarity that they need. This is sometimes an, um, what's the word, like, impulsive? But I don't think this is speaking of impulsiveness. This, this is speaking to someone that's very clear about what they want. And they don't have any time to waste anymore. She's looking at him, but she can pretty much see he's coming. Because the Queen of Wands is also someone that's very intuitive. She's tapped in, in every aspect, right? And someone, someone knows that they're not, they're not wasting any time. Ten of Cups. That's what they see. Their, their heart space is, is opened. Okay. Next card out, Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune. So this is definitely a destined and fated event for you, Scorpio. Whatever this is, whether this is someone coming towards you with certainty and 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 speed and you know aggressiveness because they know what they want, they're ready. Their heart is now open. You've opened their heart space. They can see a long-term future with you. But this is destined and fated. The Wheel of Fortune is on your side. This is ending new cycles, beginning of new ones. It definitely could be going from single to being in a relationship because your last card out is the Hierophant card. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Major Arcana as well. You got this Queen of Wands looking over at these two Major Arcanas here. So definitely, she's very intuitive. She probably knows this is coming. You probably know this is coming. That You can sense it. This is higher level commitment. This is commitment. To whatever definitely a love situation that's coming out underneath um, the queen of cups someone is in love and wants to commit someone wants to end the single cycle start a new cycle of being committed major boom okay you got the queen of looks direct looking directly at it the chiropont is also a five card so definitely change. You have two tens card here, the ten of cups <clears throat> and the, the, the wheel of fortune is also a ten right on top of each other. Ending a cycle of singleness, going into a cycle of long-term emotional stability. It's your turn. Okay, it's your turn. Some, some of you, I'm getting this small side message there might be a small group of you that might be ending a relationship. I don't think so, though. No one puts an end to the Ten of Cups. You know what I mean? I mean, you could. But realistically, who puts an end to the Ten of Cups? But there could be a small group of you that is very happy that you're ending as a long-term situation. And it's giving you your mojo back. And it's allowing you to recommit to yourself. You're starting a new cycle of recommitting to yourself. Whatever spectrum you're on, because the Wheel of Fortune is... The flip side of things right so if you're single right now you're going into a cycle of commitment there's someone that's in love with you you're in love with someone someone thinks that you're the end all be all you think that they are the end all be all certainty coming into claim right so but if you're you were in a long-term relationship you're now going to the flip side of that you're maybe coming out of that coming into a single more independent because the Queen of Wands is single, very independent, very spicy, dating, enjoying that type of lifestyle, right? So for some of you, whatever side you're on, if you 
were in a relationship in the previous cycle, you're now coming into a cycle of singleness where you're going to be committed to yourself. You're recommitting to yourself, falling back in love with yourself, creating your own, you know, probably can't wait to get out of that situation so that you can recommit to yourself. And if you're single, you're going into a cycle of commitment. Someone is in love, you're in love. Someone wants to move this forward. They're sure. They're coming in to give you some type of communication, some type of understanding, some type of clarity. They see long-term emotional fulfillment with you. They're open. They're ready. They're ready to offer something stable and start a new cycle. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull a animal oracle. For Scorpio, what do we have for Scorpio? I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus. Oops, one card for Scorpio, please. What do we have for Scorpio? Beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. Six card, definitely could be a romantic situation. Definitely is a romantic situation for most of you. Whether you're leaving a romantic situation and falling in love with yourself, getting your groove back like Stella, or you're coming out from being, you're leaving the cycle of being single and going into a committed relationship, building a solid foundation. Whether with someone or independently, most of you, it's going to be with somebody. Okay, judgment could be someone from the past or someone making has made the decision that this is something that was been up in the air or debated about someone is making the decision they have the clarity they have the they, they have what they need to move forward and they're coming straight for you build a solid foundation okay let's see what the work your love oracle has for you scorpio 15 to the 21st what do you have for scorpio One card, please, for Scorpio. I do only take jumpers, so do bear with me. One card for Scorpio. How many cards is that way too many? Let's keep going. One card for Scorpio, please. What guidance do we have for Scorpio? January 15th to the 21st. Come on. Okay way too many minitaken longing for home belonging the original light workers definitely you feel like home to somebody that's why they've made up their mind they've made the judgment call they've made the decision if there was any type of stagnation going on in the situation before that that's changing luck is on your side now is a very lucky time for you the wheel is in the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. This is a destined and faded event because that's what the real represent. Whether you're committing to yourself or committing to a partner in love, it's going to be very abundant, very prosperous. Your foundation is going to be solid. Maybe creating a new home, maybe buying a new home with this person, or buying a new home as a single person, however it goes. All right. Those are the messages I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully you found them helpful. If you do, thumbs up the video for me. And until next time, 